Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony Northeastern. And what we're looking at here is the tunnel mouth. Um, this, this, I didn't do a video on, on what I've done um, with this doubled arch tunnel mouth. Um, all I've done is um, I've split it in the middle. You can see where the new card has been added. And, uh, which is just roughly an inch and a half which gives me the extra span to cross these four tracks for the tunnel mouth. Now it's a Metcalf kit and uh, like I said all I've done is I've just widened it so I've followed the instructions um, but the only thing I haven't done is the retaining walls uh, I won't be putting them in uh, because there'll be a retaining wall along this edge uh, so I just thought I'd quickly show you the, this tunnel mouth before we get stuck back into the shop. Before we get stuck into continuing the build of the shop, I just thought I'd show you this um, aerial view of South Shields and the shop in question, which is this one here. As you can see, there is buildings which go beyond um, the photographs that we do have and here is the railway station here you can see, quite plainly see the clock tower and the chimneys there and there and the outline shape of how the station sort of steps out from the platform um, as you can see you can see the one chimney there but you can't make out the chimney behind it because of the shadow but I'm thinking that that chimney there is the centre chimney because um, if you look at the shadow you can only see one so the other chimney that you see in the photograph is from the building behind so, uh, so I just thought I'd uh, show you this What I'm planning to do here is just concentrate on this building here and maybe um, create a backyard for the shop. So sort of like a uh, tradesman's in entrance for the goods and whatever. Yeah. So, so I might have to extend the base a little bit but uh, that still can be done. And here is our reference photograph. Um, as you can see, you can see a slope in the roof there, which is the building behind. And I think that chimney pot there belongs to that building there, not this shop, as it were. So let's continue with the build. And here's where we left off. We're just about to work on the shop front. So let's make a start. Due to the changes that uh, I've decided to go along with creating a backyard, um, what I'm doing here is I'm just picking out a line but not going right away across the backyard, but just a uh, about 10 or 15 mil or so and then just picking out um, some random stones just making them uneven um, rectangulars and squares and scribing them with a pen now if you've been following my series of builds I did this to the pub the northeastern um, some while back and it just creates uh, a little bit of detail once it's painted it just adds slabs um, and detail to the build as you can see they're just random shapes as the flagstones were uh, so it's just picking out lines and making sure you score deep enough 
so that you leave a good imprint in the card. And then you should end up with something as random as this. So the next thing I want to do is I want to paint this before I glue it to the base of the shop. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm just going to pick out some stone with some greys and browns and then we'll just see what it looks like. So what we've got here, we've got a, a pretty dark grimy brown mix. So what I'm going to do now is just add a little bit of white into the brown mix I've made up here uh, with a bit of black, uh, yellow and some green. So I'm just going to just pick out a few slabs and then with a trusty Q-tip just gently wipe the paint off. See if I can lighten them up a little bit. Just to see what happens. It seems to be working, and if, if they get too bright and dark, I'll just add some yellow and uh, get some more black, get it into the grooves, and I can always weather them down again, as you can see. It's all trial and error um, with stonework. People said I should lighten up, so that's what I'm doing. I'm lighting it up. <laughs> the white I'm using, by the way, is uh, it's a satin white, so it should leave a little tiny bit of a sheen on it which is uh, what I'm hoping for and then it's just a case of going over with some green just to add some mould So with the stonework painted, we'll just leave that to dry a little bit now and I can always add some a very light white powder to it to um, lighten it up a little bit more if necessary. So that's the backyard floor done. While I've been waiting for the backyard to dry, I may start on the shop frontage. Um, it's all loose at the moment, it's just... Um, loosely sitting in there. Um, it's mostly plastic card and ordinary card. So what I've done in the end, I've made this piece slightly wider because when the gut ring comes down, it's probably going to hide some of the signage. Um, let's, we'll have to wait and see when we come to do that. So I've made a little bit of the front and I've also made shop door. Um, here we just have a normal strip plastic card 0.4 thick and then what I've done is I made a frame around it using 1.5 mil and then 0.2 mil by 2 mil strip to go around it to create a frame. As you can see if you look closely it looks like it's a frame within a frame. So now we're just, what I'm going to do now is just slowly 
build the front up by putting some plastic card strip onto the window walls there and slowly build it up. So as you can see I've uh, added a couple of pieces of blue tack just to try and keep the frame in place while I uh, build up the shop front. And it's not as easy as it looks. So this is what I've done with the shop front door. I've created a lip here which sits just inside on the actual signage. Hopefully that once that's glued in the centre and lined up with these returned walls then I can start adding all the framework in. As you can see the shop frontage is coming together quite well now. Um, all I've got to do now is add all the one mil frames all the way around and inside there. So I've got a ledge for the glass to sit into. Um, so I'm just using one by one strip for that. So it's still quite a long way to go. So now that we've got a one millimeter frame all the way around, which is going to help support the glass, it's time to put um, our apex in. So what I'm going to do is just glue that in there, like so, and that'll give us the apex for the centre of the shop. So I shall super glue that in there. So we have now completed the shop front, um, just requires painting but before we do that I just like to know I've drilled a couple of holes there at 0.5, that's to take a little bit of wire so we can have a, a long handle on the door rather than a, a knob as it were. And so the next thing to do is to add some timber framing like you see in the photograph which comes across and then comes up but if you look in the photograph as well there's a shadow so it looks like they would have had a hanging sign off of this apex so let's have a quick look at the photograph you can just make out a shadow just about here so what I'm going to do now is add this um, um, wooden lattice work here and then once that's done we can start looking inside what I'm going to do with the shop. So what I'm doing here for the lattice work I'm just adding some 2mm by some 0.25mm thick um, plastic strip and then what I'll do is I'll paint them black and white and uh, I'm just super gluing them on. I have now cut out um, what looks to be in the photograph a window and what they've got there is some sort of checky um, check plated window in there, check plated glass in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut a piece of this corrugated fence off that way on and then glue, super glue a bit into there and then add some more of this 0.2 um, plastic strip to so it looks like frames in there. We've moved on a little bit now and uh, as you can see I've painted uh, the wooden panels on the apex and I've painted around the window in black which gives it the same look um, which is in the photograph but if I come back a bit you can see I've actually painted the whole of the um, shop front in a crimson red and with this orange panelling it gives it a really distinctive look 
and um, Elders and Walkers used to be a paint store. Well, um, I'm going to have a bit of fun with this. I'm going to turn it into a um, sweet shop. And uh, yeah, sweet shop. So here is the back, and I've done exactly the same at the back, but albeit I've put in a smaller window. Um, so that's the back finish. I've just got to paint these windows now and add some brick pieces across the top of the windows. Um, just to add some detail. And once that's done we can then start looking at what to do inside. Um, I've got to work out some sort of floor plan and, and a counter area and other little bits and pieces. So the next stage is to work out what I'm doing inside. So after a little while I have decided what to do with the shop interior. As you can see I've split it into two rooms. The rear room where it would, would have been the kitchenette area where they would have made the toffees and the, all the chocolates and whatever they would have made in this room here. And the shop floor, what I've done there, I've just painted the floor brown and then just added some darker brown streaks to give it the look of floorboards. And it don't look too bad. Uh, yeah, I forgot to scribe the flooring before painting, but uh, Hope you guys let me off for that one. Anyway, shop front fascia. I've added another detail to the shop front fascia. I have now given the shop a name. Mrs. T's Sweet Shop. Homemade candies. Established 1938. And that kind of um, sums up what I'm trying to achieve here. Um, so the next thing I want to do is to make the dividing wall. Um, so I'll just measure across the building this way and the height of the wall which goes underneath this ridge here. So that's what I'm going to do next. And then maybe add a couple of doors, one there and one there. And then we'll disguise it with this. I have pulled up a interior of a shop and that's what I'm going to stick against the wall. So when you look through the window you see all these little goodies. Here is the centre wall for the shop and this is the shop side and this is the obviously where they uh, make the sweets so the chimney breast will be on this side and uh, as you can see I have added a door and the door is a old Medcalf kit door and all I've done is you can probably see in the paint there where I've scribed it with a pen and the paint has come through and uh, I'm not too worried about the where I've slap dashed the paint on because the um, the sweet shop paper is going to hide all that um, when I come to cover it up, so it'll be like wallpaper if you like. And uh, yeah, so that is the centre wall. And that's all we've got time for this week. Um, next week we're going to look at detailing the inside of the shop. Um, as you know we've made a start already with the centre wall so it's a case of adding the chimney and fitting the LEDs and maybe adding some more internal details. But uh, that's for next week. Thanks for watching now and I hope you enjoyed what you've seen and we'll see you again.
next week here at Tony North Eastern. Hopefully the shop will be open. Bye for now. Bye.